Today we're going to take a look at what happens when we transform a random variable. So for example, let's say we multiply every value of a random variable by 5, or we add 10 to every value of a random variable. We take a, and take a look at what happens to the mean and standard deviation and shape of the distribution. So here we have uh, something I talked about yesterday, rolling a fair six-sided die. So the values that x can take on are 1 through 6, and then the probability of each of these values occurring is 1 sixth. And so if we actually draw the distribution, uh, we have a uniform distribution uh, since each value occurs with the, the same frequency of 1 sixth. And I even said we could figure out the mean and standard deviation for this by entering the values for x in our calculator in list 1 and the probabilities in list 2. So let's take a look at that. Um, here we can see I have in list 1 the, the different values of the die, 1 through 6, and the probability of each. And when I go to stat, calc, and do one variable statistics, the values are in list 1, the frequency is in list 2, I get a mean of 3.5 and a standard deviation of 1.7. So my mean is 3.5 and my standard deviation is 1.7. That means if I was to roll the die many times, I would expect to have a, a roll on average of 3.5, and the 1.7 describes my typical spread from that mean. Let's take a look at another example, but related to this one. Um, now I'm going to award points uh, based on a number that shows up on a die plus 5. So instead of 1, I'm going to have now 1 plus 5, and instead of 2, I'm going to have 2 plus 5, and instead of 3, I'm going to have 3 plus 5. So my possible values for my random variable here are 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And of course, the probability that any of these values occur is still 1 sixth. So that has stayed the same, even though the values themselves of the random variable have changed. The probabilities are the same, and so when I graph this particular distribution once again, oops, if I could graph a straight line here, I'd have a uniform distribution uh, with each value occurring one-sixth of the time. So the shape of my distribution didn't change. What about my mean and standard deviation? Well, let's go to the calculator to help us figure that out. We're going to add six, or actually five, I should say, to every value of the random variable. So we have um, 6 and then 7 and so on. 8, 9, 10, and 11. All right, let's calculate the mean and standard deviation. So we go stat, calc, one variable statistics. And I'm guessing because every value in the distribution went up by 5, the mean's going to go up by 5, oh, and it did. But then notice the standard deviation stayed the same. That, that should sound familiar with some stuff that we did earlier in the year. When you add every, every value, uh, when you add the same value to every number in a data set, the mean will increase or decrease by that number, but the standard deviation will stay the same. We'll say it's about 1.7. Is that what we had before? Yes, 1.7. So let's take a look here. It says adding a constant a to random variable um, increases or adds a to the mean. So adds a to the mean. but it does not change the standard deviation or the shape of the distribution. There we go. That's a little better. So adding a constant a to a random variable adds a to the mean, but does not change the standard deviation or the shape of the distribution. Let's take a look at what happens now when we multiply um, every value in 
a probability distribution by a constant. So here, let's say I'm, I'm using a die to award points in a game once again. And let's say z is the number of points. I'm going to have the number of points be 10 times what is rolled. So instead of my values being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 for my random variable, now they're uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. But notice once again, the probability of each of these values is 1, 6. So when I draw my distribution or graph my distribution, once again, oop, I have a uniform distribution where each value occurs with the same probability of 1, 6. Now, how is the mean and standard deviation for this one going to be impacted? Well, once again, let's go to our graphing calculator to find out. Here you can see I've entered the values for the random variable z. And now I'm going to do stat, calc. Now I'm guessing the mean is going to be multiplied by 10 since I multiplied each value of the random variable by 10. But let's take a look at what happens to the standard deviation. Oh, look, it looks like the standard deviation is multiplied by 10 as well. So our new mean is 35. And our new standard deviation is 17.1. So in this case, our standard deviation actually did change. So let's see if we can summarize this. So it appears that multiplying a constant b to a random variable multiplies the mean by b and multiplies the standard deviation by the absolute value of b. And the only reason I say absolute value of b here is, is if, if b were to be a negative value, um, it's not going to make the standard deviation become negative uh, because we know we, we can't have a negative standard deviation. So we say the absolute value of b and we notice that the shape of the distribution does not change. So let's see if you can summarize this. Pause the video for a second and see if you can summarize what happens when we take a random variable and multiply it by one constant and add another. Well, as we saw in our two examples, the distribution um, didn't change. The distribution, if, if the distribution was originally uniform for the random variable, when we transformed it, the, dis the distribution was still uniform. It uh, doesn't really matter what the initial shape of the distribution was. The shape of the distribution was not changed. Um, as far as the center, we saw that the center uh, was added, um, or when a value is added, the center had that value added, the mean had that value added, and when it was multiplied by value, the mean also was multiplied by that value. Um, and for spread, uh, adding a number doesn't change the spread, um, just multiplying by a constant would change the spread of the random variable. So this should sound somewhat familiar. It should sound like some things that we were working on earlier in the year.